Hi guys, Dr. Betts here. I am your professor for Chemistry 1032, and I am going through today, Chapter 1, ba uh, Chemistry Basics, Matter and Measurement. What is chemistry? Chemistry is a study, composition, a study of composition, structure, properties, and reactions of matter. This stuff happens all around us and inside of us every day. Chemistry makes the world uh, go around. Not, not really go around, but it makes everything on the world happen. It's really a fascinating field of study, and I hope that you find it interesting as much as I do. Now, here we have an example of a chemical reaction, the antacid reaction, the plop, plop, fizz, fizz reaction. You may have seen it on TV, or you may have even taken some yourself. This is a chemical that if when you buy it, you have acid indigestion in your stomach. You take it, your acid indigestion goes away. Now, what causes that? Well, it's a chemical reaction. Chemistry causes that to happen. It makes you feel better. In fact, a lot of uh, chemists work for pharmaceutical companies just so they can make drugs to make people feel better. Isn't that interesting? So chemistry and chemicals, here's chemicals, are drugs sometimes. Sometimes they're not. Sometimes they're food. Sometimes we breathe them. Sometimes we drink them. Some chemicals are really, really, really beneficial. Some chemicals are extraordinarily harmful. The word chemical doesn't imply one or the other. The word chemical simply means a substance that have the same composition and properties, and I'll say structure, wherever they're found. So water is a great example of a chemical. Water has the structure, uh, the formula, pardon me, H2O. It has the same chemical structure, has the same chemical formula, has the same everything, no matter where you find it. There, it's the same. Water here in Florida, water in Antarctica, water in the, the North Pole, water in Canada, all the same. Water in Europe, same. Same water. Go out into space, go to Mars, go to Jupiter, go wherever you might find water. It's all the same. Isn't that fascinating? They're all the same because they have the same structure and composition. That's fascinating. So chemicals aren't necessarily bad. They just have to have the same composition and structure. For example, sugar is most definitely a chemical. But if you don't eat sugar, you'll die. That makes sense. So it's a chemical, but I need to eat it because I need to survive. There are other chemicals that will most definitely kill you. Pesticides, for example, are designed to kill pests. You know, they're designed to be toxic to certain pests. So not all chemicals are good. Not all chemicals are bad. Here's a you try. Now, this is just for you guys to try on your own. So if you want, I would pause the video right now and kind of go over this if I were you. Make sure you can kind of figure out which one's a chemical or which one's not. There's one that's not. I'll just give you a hint. One's not. So pause the video now, take a little break, see if you can figure out which one of these contains chemicals. Okay, you're back now. I assume you paused the video. Let's start at the bottom. Breakfast cereal. Well, breakfast cereal for sure, most of them anyway, contains sugar. So that's most definitely a chemical. What about milk? Well, we all know milk has water for sure in it. That's a chemical. Water also has sugar, lactose. That's a sugar. That's definitely a chemical. It has fat. That's definitely a chemical. So water for sure is a, has chemicals. Uh, pardon me. Milk for sure has chemicals in it. Fruit. Oh, come on. Fruit's loaded with chemicals. Fruit's got flavor. The flavoring chemicals that give, that give apples or oranges or whatever their beautiful, distinct flavor. Uh, the color in the skins or the rind of the fruit. Apples are red or green, usually. Oranges are, of course, orange. Uh, pears are green, sometimes purple. I mean, these colors come from chemicals. That's pretty neat. Now, the last one on the list, sunlight. Well, sunlight actually doesn't contain any chemicals. Sunlight is a form of energy, and we're going to get into energy later on. So sunlight does not contain chemicals. It is simply a source of energy. Now, let's continue. Hope you do well on that. If not, please review. Make sure you understand what a chemical is and what a chemical isn't. Energy, for example, is not a chemical. But it sometimes, uh, well, not sometimes, it has effects on chemicals, and we'll get into that later. 